Josh's Pov. We continued to explore the house. It was a nice house. Then I picture that was huge. It covered the whole wall. The picture was of this girl. I have to admit, she's got looks. I touched the painting. It fell off. Josh, look what you did, Kate said. Kate, look, there's a door, I said. I opened it and walked in. Then I walked in and saw a computer on a bed. I walked towards the computer and there was a website called Wattpad. Then there was a story called Hit by an Angel, a Josh Hutcherson love story on it. And the cover had a picture of me in my old car on it. And it said that that vampire chick wrote it. Then a girl came in and she was only wearing a black bra and underwear. She just stared wide-eyed at me. She didn't even bother to cover her body up. So I looked back to make sure Kate couldn't see me staring at her. Kate was just sitting on the bench eating some chips. I made my way out of the room. Josh, what was in the room? Kate asked. Before I could answer, the girl walked out. Thank God she was wearing a dressing gown. We all just kind of stared at each other. For ten minutes. For ten fucking minutes, Denny? Well, I have ten fucking minutes! Then she broke the silence. Um, you're Josh Hutcherson. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Um, I heard you went missing, she said as she walked closer to me. He had beautiful black hair. She didn't even pay attention that Kate was there. Um, hi, why are you living in the middle of an island? I asked her. Caitlin's puff. I had to lie to Josh because I want him to feel sorry for me. Oh, well, that was a storm, and I fell, came here to this island, and I built it a small house, and bam, here we are, I said. The true story was a one, a competition to spend three weeks in an island. Then how do you have food? Josh asked. Um, well, or I, um, found it, yeah. I found all the food. They were just lying on the sand. I lied again. Really? Josh asked. Sir Prized? Yep. Um, do you want some clothes to wear? You must have been in those clothes for a long time, I said. Yes, please, that would be great, he said. I walked into my bathroom, and I made sure I got a shirt that is a size too small and tight so I can see his muscles. I handed Josh a black shirt. He got changed and came out looking smoking hot. He kept staring at this girl, then she said, Hey, I'm Kate. I just stared at her like she was something I picked of my shoe. And some clothes would be nice, she said. I went in my room and picked my grandma's disgusting huge flower dress. Josh's pov. Caitlin came out and threw Kate a huge bright pink flower dress that was meant for a fat old lady. I could tell already that they weren't going to get along with each other. Hey guys, I hope you liked this chapter. It'll upload the next one really soon. Um, some bad news. This is the last chapter. So comment and vote by. LOL, I'm so horrible to you guys. Like, I will never do that. I'm joking. Oh, and the pixel at the side is Caitlin. Hey everybody, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and consider throwing me a dollar or so a month on Patreon like all of these cool people do, especially Break System BSE, and you can see your own name up here. It'll be great.